Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna do a Dan's Kitchen class. Today we're gonna be cooking today. We're gonna do a fun day, we're gonna start cooking. It's always fun to see what we can make. Today, we are going to make sunflower butter and chocolate chip mug cake. Mm, I love cake. Cake I think is one of my top three favorite things. I love cake, cookies, Hmm, and then maybe like a banana, just to throw a curveball in there. Okay, so if we're gonna make our sunflower butter and chocolate chip mug cakes, we are gonna need to talk about what we're you cooking with. We are going to be cooking with that microwave right there. All this recipe can be made easily in a microwave. We're gonna talk about our utensils. The utensils, what are we gonna use to cook in? What are we gonna cook in? We are going to need a mug, a microwave safe mug. Any mug you can have, anything that can withhold a microwave. I'm gonna use a trusty white one right here. Okay, we have utensils. Also, one other simple utensil. Rubber spatula, mine's a green. We're gonna usually do that. Okay, little green, little green rubber spatula. Okay, we went through our utensils. Mug, rubber spatula. And then let's talk about our ingredients. Again, during the video, I'm gonna have either on that side or on this side, I'm going to have the list of ingredients. So you can follow with me as I'm going along. I'm gonna put them up for probably about a minute or so. Okay, first, what do we have? We're going, we going to get our flour. Let me see, we need four tablespoons. Four tablespoons, if you remember, tablespoons come in little metals I a tablespoon is a capital T let me go let me flip it a capital capital T capital T is big for tablespoons four tablespoons of flour we need three tablespoons of chocolate chips yum 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 chocolate chips we have also on our ingredient list, we have baking soda. What is baking soda? Quick tell you about what baking soda is. It is like a flour-like substance. It's like flour, it's got a texture of flour. It helps things rise. So if you have a cake that's really big, probably helped by baking powder. Um, it's, it's a key part of baking. Let's move on to our next, let's move on to our next ingredient. We need of course, sunflower butter. Sunflower butter, guys. It's one of you know, like peanut butter and jelly, sunflower butter and jelly. It's uh, one of my favorite. We will also need a fourth cup of milk. One fourth cup. This is why we need our liquid measuring cup. We use our liquid measuring cup. And our last thing on our ingredient list. We need a tablespoon of flour. One tablespoon. Guys, this is why we, hey, if I could help you with some simple ingredients. All you really need is a tablespoon and a teaspoon and your liquid measuring cup. I will have the ingredients, like I said, to the side so that you could follow along with us. Okay, next we have the directions. First, they will be off to the side. I will also put the directions off the side if you want to follow along with me. Okay. The first reaction, we are going to get our mug and we are going to put all of our ingredients in the mug. We're not gonna put all of them, we're gonna hold off the chocolate chip for another direction. So, we are gonna first put all of our ingredients in. We have our flour, okay, I'm gonna put the flour in. Very carefully. So you don't make it too much of a mess, but me messes are a part of cooking and you're gonna get them no matter what. Okay. Try that when you are done baking, always make sure you wipe the counters when you're done. Okay, we are going to put next our sugar. I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna I fold it. I'm gonna fold the plate so it all funnels right in. Okay, then we are going to put the baking powder. This is a little quick one, just a little white powder substance. Get that in there, okay. Then, we have our sunflower butter. 
we are going to, I'm going to use the rubber spatula. I'm going to see if I can get this in here. I'm going to, oh, peek around the corner. Oh, that's all that. Let's get all the good stuff in there. Okay. This is, I'm going to mix it up. I'm just going to mix it up a little bit so that the ingredients, ooh, almost got over me. Got a little bit of my finger here. I'm going to mix. Give yourself a mix. And then we are going to put our one fourth cup milk. We're going to pour it right in. Making sure we get it all in there. And we're going to use our rubber spatula to stir and mix the ingredients in the cup. Let me see if I can. Okay. Just going to make sure they are mixed very well and very smoothly. We don't want any sort of flour clumps. We don't want to, we want to make sure it all mixes and stirs well together. So this is why you get a chance you could talk about what you're going to do with this lovely day. I'm going to go do, I'm going to go outside. I'm going to walk on a trail. I am going to do my laundry today. You think about all the things you have to do. You could talk about who your favorite teacher is at school. I don't worry, it's me, don't worry about it, I know that. Okay, once our ingredients are mixed really well, you gotta scrape any extra off on the side here. It should look, it should almost look like a batter, like a, like a pancake batter or like a waffle batter. I don't know if you make waffles. Let me show you, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put down the mess, I'm gonna put down on a rag off the side. So I'm gonna show you, it's gonna look like a little glumpy, like a liquid. Then what we will do is then we will put our chocolate chips in. I am going to sprinkle some of mine. I'm gonna sprinkle it. Yeah, I'm gonna sprinkle it on top so that they get mixed up. I will, you know what I might do? I might do just another stir with my rubber spatula. So then that way the chocolate chips could get all dispersed within. Okay. Now this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have to bring you up and carry you all the way. Let me, let me see if I can walk up. We're gonna use the microwave today. So, when we use the microwave, let me see if I can get it right there. We're going to put it in the center of the microwave. Let me grab up. Okay, this is how we're gonna use, oh, smiley face time. Okay. Okay, when we use, we are going to do, see, we're going to do cook time. We are going to cook it for a minute and 15 seconds. Can you see a minute and 15 seconds, okay? And then you're going to hit, oh, I double quick mine. We are going to go give it a minute, okay? Like we see here. We have to, we have to clean up. Our food is cooking, we're going to let it cook. So while that happens, we take any sort of stuff that we cooked with or we use utensils wise, we make sure we clean them. Microwave, microwave safe bowl. I'm gonna keep the microwave in there. Also, before we eat, we need to wash our hands. Our 3H, our head is reading the instructions reading the ingredients second our hands our hands are going to make sure they are clean and safe and third most importantly have fun while you're cooking i'm going to show you what comes out with the mug cake hopefully it goes good for you remember you have to keep your head on the microwave or what on the food while it's cooking so that the spills happen you can be more attentive i'm going to keep my head on the microwave for here i got 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Okay. Uh oh, let's see. Okay. This looks perfect. It's gonna be hot. Gotta remember anything you take out from cooking, you gotta use caution. I am grabbing by the handle. Let me show you my mug cake. It's gonna be a little bit gooey in the center, but. Remember, you gotta give it time to cool before you enjoy. Have a little patience, cause you never know. It's gonna turn out, it might turn out good. 
Three rules. H, where is our head? Our head is always reading the instructions, reading the ingredients, keeping our minds on the food. Second, hands. Hands are gonna be washed always before starting food, always before eating. We always wash our hands. And number three, the most important rule, number three. Have some fun.